Yo, chat. I'm enjoying this match right now. <clears throat> How y'all doing? I'm enjoying this match right now. I'm kind of stalling. Should I, uh... I think we're going to pull up Doro's stream. We're going to let Doro talk. Hold on. Give me a second. Let me just pull up Doro's stream. We'll, we'll, we'll have him do the talking. Hold on. While I, while I enjoy this matcha. Uh, Doro, if you could just, if you could just take over. <clears throat> 86 over 208. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Left ear only audio. Nani. This isn't my audio setup. This is uh <clears throat> Islands. Hold on. Hmm. Mine's the right ear. You might have your earbud in the wrong ear, my friend. Okay, try that. How's that? Testing, testing. Un, dos, tres. Ah, YouTube delay. I forgot. That's a thing. Where are we, chat? We good? No? Left side. Oh. What's that? How do you right click? Events. Go to events. Go to settings. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Click mono for the mic. Why? Because it says left to right. You, you just need mono. That's so old school. Yeah. Mm. You want to say hi? No. <laughs> it should be working now. How's that? Good now? What are they saying? Yep. Looks like it's good. Okay. Beautiful. I'm using uh, Mike's audio system, which is like very old school. I have the modern one. It just automatically processes everything. He's got like all these knobs. Kind of complicated, not going to lie. Chat, how we doing? What's good? I can't be too loud. Sounds like we're at a hotel and it's like middle of the night. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on. Don't worry. I'll let Doro do the talking. Hold on. Kidding me? Stop kicking me, bro. Please, for the love of God, stop kicking me. How about trying DPS Bennett? Like a, like a team built around making Bennett a DPS? Thank you, Doro, for the concept. I, I it's I've appreciated. No, I have tried that. Oh, shit. Okay. We got to roll that, chat. We got to roll it. Um, I think I've tried that before. The most I've ever hit with my Benny was like 110,000 on his, like, ult, I think. I think we've done that. Ah! Is Doro playing copyright? Maybe. I forgot. Twitch. <laughs> I don't know. Kick Doro. Adios. Hopefully not. YouTube things. I forget. All right, well, back to... It sounded so wrong without scream, bro. Get your head out the gutter. What do you mean? What do you mean, chat? I thought I can't scream, I'm not screaming. What do you mean? What? I'm like right next to the mic, but you know. It's my birthday today, same as Rena. Let's go, happy birthday. <laughs> Yo. 
Is that a bad camera? Hey, yo, good lighting. The MacBook camera kind of goes hard. Not gonna lie. Wait a minute. Yo, happy birthday. Cheers. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Feliz cumpleaños. How's it going? How's it going? Luke, welcome to the chat. Thanks for moderating. Padoru is Daniel. Hosh, how's it going? That's right. Yup. Alcohol. Modelo. No. <laughs> it's a matcha soda. What's up? How's it going? How's it going? Boss looking bright. Literally. Thank you. I think. How bright are we talking? How bright are we talking? Pretty bright. Pretty bright. Pretty bright. Boss needs a haircut? Dude, you got no idea. This is my morning hair. I, I slept for like two hours. And then uh, we woke up to get more work done. Bro, I gotta... I gotta, I gotta get some sleep, you know what I'm saying? It's gotta happen. It's gotta happen, it's gotta happen. Now we wait for the Genshin stream. Why are you so shining? <laughs> Why is that only on MacBook? <laughs> Oh, dude, 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 check this out, check this out, check this out, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, Sky guys, welcome back for 28 months, oh yeah, it's been a while since I caught a live stream of YouTube, hello fam, man, everyone's coffee sparkle with joy and entertainment and cinnamon for the rest of the year, I don't know if that's a, a, a sparkle reference, wait a minute, what, you know the English live stream on YouTube now, same as Twitch, wait, do they really, wait, that's huge, so we can have VOD playback, oh, Rizzo, thanks for the follow, check this out, check this out, on the drop. Are you ready? Are you ready? Watch. Watch. You ready? That's so freaking cool. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> How did we do the fireworks? New Year? I forgot how to do the fireworks. Damn. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. So they have the, uh... Is this the future? The future is now, dude. It's only on the MacBook laptop. Yeah, I feel really bad for Island now. Why? What? My... Listen. My energy is invaluable to Island XD. I'll have you know. This is the reason why he's awake right now. This is true. This is true. My mere presence is energizing him. Mm-hmm. Um, pray for island. What does that mean? Bro, what's... Why? He doesn't need that. What do you mean? It's fine. He'll live. He'll be okay. Hashtag pray for the mods. <laughs> Speaking of island, where's this handsome guy? He's like in and out. He's not collaborating. He's got to finish... Uh... Soundtrack's a nice soundtrack. He's got to finish a, a video that he's working on. And so do I, for that matter. I'm working on like three or... Three or... Uh, bro, I keep... I keep sliding backwards. Look at this. Look at this. Like, 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 I, it, it's, it's weird. I don't know. It's really weird. Hashtag pray for the mods. Listen. Thumbs up is the firework.
Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Oh, I got you, chat. I got you, chat. I see you with the hearts. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, I'm a child. Listen. Such a man child, listen. Okay? You would do the same if you knew you could do this. I dedicate this to Island. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Island, if you're watching this, I don't know where you are. <laughs> but I just want to let you know. That's great, that's great. Alright, what time are we at? Hold on. We're like 10 minutes away. 10 minutes till stream starts. We, we, we need the hotel theme. <laughs> You're gonna see him wandering around. He's getting work done, he's getting work done. Damn, what's up? Thanks for becoming a member, it's appreciated. Welcome to the stream, welcome to the stream. Oh wait, I gotta I gotta let Discord know. Hold on. <sighs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Thumbs down, please. Two. Oh, oh, dude, look at this, look at this. I... Or, or. <laughs> Ain't that sick? <laughs> That cool, bro. That's so cool. <laughs> oh man, or or subscribe, like. That's beautiful, it's beautiful. Island Jordan in the chaos is being corrupted. Nah, he's always been a wacky dude. What do you mean? What do you mean, what do you mean, what do you mean? <laughs> Island is becoming an extrovert. That's not what it, being an extrovert means, guys. Come on. I've joined at a questionable time. No, you joined at a great time. You joined at a fantastic time. Welcome. Cheers. <laughs> Man, it's the only thing I like about the MacBook of the, the special effects. We gotta figure out how to do that on a regular camera. I don't think that's possible, but we, we gotta do something with that. We gotta do something. Honestly, that's some real Lenny Lynette energy. <laughs> Get me down. Thanks for the five super. It's appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, hold on. We're seven minutes away. I gotta make sure I don't get distracted and miss the stream. That would be, that would be tragic. Tragic, tragic. <laughs> oh man. Dude, two thumbs up for firecrackers. Oh <laughs> no. That's sick. That's so freaking cool. <laughs> from the 
了，不能好开心。<笑><笑>哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈那、like、you see Twitch chat? Maybe. Potentially. Unreal thoughts on Sparkle. I'm scared of the fact that I forgot she was the SP support. I actually really need her. I didn't. I didn't realize. Have you tried Sparkle yet? No, because I like you guys. Chat sadly. Do you know the mental discipline necessary to not pull on Sparkle, Senadina, Bianca, or Alpha? Do do you do you realize that? Like. Uh, are we doing Twitch or YouTube Live? Hold on, can we do both? Is that maybe? I kind of want to do YouTube Live because YouTube is not gonna have the. Is it their Genshin Impact channel? They don't do YouTube at the same time as Twitch. Uh, no, they are actually. Are they? They might have changed. Yeah. Damn, she looks good. Yo, sheesh. Brock suggested her with Blade, Branya, and a sustain just to constantly speed Blade up. That's crazy. What? What? Why? Why are you not using Twitch? Uh, I just don't. I they have ads like That's everywhere. You no, know, like they'll they'll mini the screen, and then they'll have like a banner ad up here. And then they'll bring it back to full screen. I wonder if that's gonna start at the same time then. It says in two minutes. All right. Well, I'm gonna watch whatever you're watching, so I could try to resync it somewhat correctly. No, you know it'll be it'll be for the most part. I'm I'm seeing which one. Hopefully YouTube, but <coughs> camera blocking. That's crazy. Maybe it's not blocking. Maybe I'm just that beautiful. You know. Um. <laughs> Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, you still can't see her. Oh, uh, wait. Bro, tell me not. Insanely pretty. Insanely pretty. Like, holy. When you when someone realizes that she's the one designing your fashion, it's like... Yes. <laughs> oh, bro. I gotta shut up. I'm too loud. Too loud, chat. Tell me to shut up. Island is more beautiful. I mean, you're not wrong. Have you seen Island? Look at him. 
Okay. Wait, how'd the balloons happen? Wait, wait a minute. I said look at them and balloons came up. <laughs> how, how'd I do that? Did you see that? That was crazy. Okay. Handsome? Is there like a keyword? What's, what's up? What's up? Who's more beautiful? Chiori or Island? That's cheating. You're asking me who's more beautiful, woman or island? Like, it's, it's like, bro, I'm heavily biased. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. You know, island's hella handsome, but like, have you seen woman? Like, bro, it's crazy. That's our competition, man. Be slacking. I gotta get a haircut. Oh, but or is it? Oh, they started first. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's Twitch. We're doing Twitch. Which one are we using? Twitch. Yuri, I'm really excited to be in this special program with you guys for the first time. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Valeria Rodriguez, and I'm the voice of Sucrose. Also very excited to be here. Let's, Let's give everyone a chibi applause. That was so cute. But seriously, this is an incredible crew, you guys. Now I'm even more curious to know about the contents of version 4.5. Why don't we find out by taking a look at the version 4.5 trailer? Yes! Yeah. yeah! Let's go! Wow, I can't believe I'm holding the key to shaking up Mondstadt's entire wine industry in my own two hands! I can just see it now. The more alcohol those drunkards consume, the more sober they'll become! I wonder if it could also be used to turn water into wine? Alternatively, a strength-enhancing potion could make it so that Pinewood could take down an Abyss Mage all on her own. How are we supposed to make a potion like that? The pain from walking on all that rough terrain. It's like it was never there. With this in my arsenal, I bet I could deliver 200 orders in a single day. Excuse not me. not the delivery thing, please. Not the delivery of it, please. Need a bit of letting out around the middle. No, just ran into a bit of trouble. It's up to me to decide who I want to be. Jory, dual wields. No one can tell me what to do. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> dual wield. Let's go. Let's go, tomato. <laughs> oh shit. Delicate as silk. A damn. Nivea. Okay, she might have sent a joke in Nivea then. Bro, that's hard to say no to. Are you kidding me? Dual like wheel? Return my outfit. What kind of rag do you trying to sell us, huh? You didn't get bought out by my competitors, did you? Oh, beautiful. Thoughts? First impressions? There's no Dainsley. Oh my god, I'm so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> There's no Dainsley quotes, I'm so pissed. <laughs> You wanted a dance safe quest. I wanted a dance safe quest too. That would have been nice. Have been. I but mean, I think uh, they're stalling for a patch. Maybe, maybe they stalled the no. But he would have appeared in the trailer, huh? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I mean. Damn. Well, from our calculations, if it's not this patch, it's the next patch. Mmm. I see. Or the I, I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm with you. Dance safe would have been nice. Uh, this looks like it's gonna be mainly like a filler event. Chat, you think this? You think? You think that's, you think that's it for the trailer portion? There's not like a second trailer, right? Yeah, probably not. So, I mean, this gives this gives me time to like, you know, try other things. <coughs> Alpha, seventy, coffee. All right, I'm gonna go welcome work. back, travelers. Oh. I'm sure that everyone's keen to hear more about the new version. <laughs> Let's get on with it then. Okay. Unsurprisingly, Listen. our first bit of information relates Bye. to our newest character, Chiori. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> huh? It's just a piece of fabric? Oh, why was it in the box? Whoa! It's actually really beautiful. A professional designer like Chiori is very strict about her materials. Oh. She probably uses unique fabrics pretty frequently. Oh. That makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. I thought that Chiori left a really strong impression at the Fontanalia Film Festival. Yeah, definitely. 
You could get a really good read on her based on how she dresses and the way that she talks. Ooh, I agree. She seemed firm and decisive. Mm. Like the kind of person who always says exactly what she means. Mm -hmm. I also get the impression that she's not afraid of going after what she wants. <laughs> yeah, it must have taken a lot of effort for an Inazuman to become so successful in the Fontaine fashion industry. Yes. Mm. I bet her success was based on a lot of skill and talent. Mm-hmm, you know it. You all seem pretty familiar with Chiori already, but you might not be aware about her combat abilities, so... No danger of dead patch. Fighting style. <laughs> Let's... Fighting. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to me to decide who I want to be, and to cut Oh my, my gosh, she's so hot. No oh my god, bro. No one can tell me what to do. Dual wielding too? Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> okay, y'all might have had. We we okay we. Bro, and she has a dash. I am the cutting edge of fashion. And she has a dash. That whole animation looks really good. It's got that Kazuha vibe, you know? Oh my god! The classic <laughs> Kami style. <laughs> like, have you seen her doll? It's so she's cute. She's the highlight of the patch she's by far. Cut above the rest, Aww. if you will. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I love her animations. They're so sleek. Yes. Yeah, super stylish. Major style points. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love her swords. They're super, super cool. I want to add them to my own collection. Did you see that during her burst, she actually crosses them over to look like scissors? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. I can hear that people spam reply she's Geo Kaching yeah. already. I mean, Observers yeah, but she's can dual consider Geori to be in. Bro, dual wield. That's so designer. sick. That's so she freaking has a cool. a unique way of designing her clothes. Aside from using Bro. her own blades to cut fabric, she that also might be the new maid. I'm just Kamoto. saying. Her longtime personal assistant is always ready to help produce and model her designs. Mm. Tamoto is indispensable to how Chiori expresses her unique creative vision to the world. It's like she has an aura that proclaims to everyone, "This." Tesla Japanese fashion. voice actor. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, Who's behind totally. UD? I don't know. Jury's found UD? an ingenious way to incorporate her design making assistance into combat, too. During her elemental skill, Chiori summons Tamoto to attack her opponents. Dude. She also performs an upward strike and deals damage to her enemies based on her attack and defense stats. Mm. Wait, wait. Chiori made that automaton herself? Wow, it's so intricate. Maybe she could expand into a new industry if she wanted. <laughs> For sure. When her elemental skill is held, Chiori can adjust the direction of her dash to attack Bro, enemies from multiple Her attacks levels. look and sick. As an experienced businesswoman, <laughs> Chiori knows how to capitalize on favorable conditions. Chiori will summon an additional automaton when Tomoto is active and uh -huh. there are other geo constructs on the field. Okay. okay. By unlocking one of her specific talents, Chiori can trigger special effects when using Dude. her skill or normal attack during the upward strike. I hope she's an on field skill. or a sub DPS Ooh, at interesting. least. Interesting. So it seems like you can even switch your active character by using her skill. Uh huh. Oh. The assistant seems to save her a lot of trouble. Oh, absolutely. Whoa. Chiori doesn't that's like to crazy. Waste her time on um, trivial matters. If someone tests her patience, then she'll end the battle with a strike as sharp and fierce as her personality. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, Chiori that's may be a so sick. Designer, but she's also really fun to watch in combat. For sure. Her and Navi are gonna be think nuts. That fashion stops at appearances. It also needs to serve a functional purpose. Hmm. When Chiori is in your active party and, and any uh, of your characters are wearing uh, a unique outfit or a non-default wing glider, with Navi swap into or Chiori swap into Navi is gonna be very nice. That's what makes her a true designer. Very, very nice. Her travels will definitely be smoother when she's in the party. And more fashionable. Uh, That's well, going to be huge. Maybe not. Oh? Mm -hmm. Chiori tends to run into a lot of trouble. Oh. It might be because of her blunt personality, but uh, unexpected problems often arise, <laughs> no matter how much she tries to avoid them. That's crazy. It's I'm almost like they sure have different that combat a as well. Straightforward person like Chiori has her own methods of getting herself out of those situations quickly. Ah. <laughs> it's possible. Chiori is an unconventional she needs someone to run with, with a clear vision. She isn't afraid to go after what she wants, and that approach has made her very successful. Chiori will do anything to make sure the Chioria brand becomes renowned throughout all of Tibet. So she's always looking for ways to increase its exposure. I, got, I gotta see how she Such plays, but she might be my next Fontaine triple crown. Fashion Week. Hmm. Ooh, potentially. I bet she probably has to go all out on Fashion Week. 
Chiori's story quest, the Sisoria chapter, uh -huh. will become available in version 4.5. Okay. Travelers will be able to accompany Chiori as she confronts unexpected challenges during Vontaine Fashion Week. How curious. What kind of challenges are they? She's gonna be a DPS for support? See. I imagine a sub DPS for Genshin. But I'm sure that Kirara will be there to help Chiori, being her good friend and all. Oh, I would like her to be a main field kind of driver. That would be cool. Have. But uh, <laughs> I, I think she's going to be a sub DPS. also designed Kirara's outfit. Oh, so Kirara is one of Chiori's clients. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. If yeah. you want to learn more about Chiori, then be sure to check out her story quest when it becomes available. Actually, travelers won't just be spending time with Chiori. Lynette's hangout event Lynette will hangout. also be available okay. in version 4.5. So After travelers complete her quest, they'll receive a special reward. Mm. The Phaetometer. Ooh. Awesome. Oh, this is a pretty interesting tool. You can draw a random number from a hat when you interact with the Phaetometer. So if travelers are ever stuck on a decision, they can use the Phaetometer as an interesting solution. Ooh. Yeah, if you're farming for artifacts or enhancement materials in co-op mode, uh -huh. you might run into a situation where multiple people want to use the same character. Mm. But you can decide a winner by drawing a random number with the Phaetometer. It seems pretty convenient, right? <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Especially if you're as easily overwhelmed and indecisive as I am. <laughs> if you have a lot of content to explore, then you can even use the phaetometer to decide where can, you should start. Wait, chat, we can make bets can against each other? From going back and forth. Wait a minute. How about we try the phaetometer and see which number it gives us? Oh, me first. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Have we decided what the numbers mean? He doesn't need to hang out with Lynette in game because he already hangs out with Lynette in real life in the form of Island XD. I mean, we introduce the next piece of information. Ooh. Okay. Though I think I'll be sitting this one out. Mm. I already got to introduce Chiori. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, I'll go. Yo, we can make bets against each other, chat. Wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. We can make this into content. so close <laughs> well it seems like zach is the winner there's nobody that's Take it, it right? away, big man let's Chat. go uh. right <clears throat> we'll have event wishes oh, from Shuri and Ito Ito, in the first the one in oni 5. a new five star sword uraku misugiri will be that's featured a pretty on the sword weapon event banner yo hell on that goes hard a new five star sword comes with a defense bonus. <gasps> Whoa. So it's not just a good weapon for Chiori. Interesting. Uh, that's something that travelers will have to try out for themselves. Interesting. Be sure to check them out if either of them interest you. I have oh, them. And that's Salutes. not all. It looks like we also have information about a new type of wish. Okay. The chronicled wish. Mm. Uh, what's that? Yeah. Let me explain. A new type of banner will be available starting from version 4.5, the Chronicled Wish. The so Chronicled Wish good. banner will allow travelers to obtain a variety of characters such as Klee and Dilu. Nice. They'll <gasps> also be able to obtain weapons such as Hunter's Path and Wolf's Gravestone. <laughs> <laughs> Bran, kick your Wolf's Gravestone! Cool. Let's go, Wait, Bran, cheers! So characters and weapons are I've had it since day one, but you can finally we get it! Let's go, happy for you, buddy! Happy for you! You can chart a specific <laughs> course for the character or weapon that you want. Plus, it only takes a maximum of one fate point to guarantee your target. You're also guaranteed an item that matches your target type. For example, if you're targeting a specific five-star character, whatever you end up pulling is guaranteed to be what? a character. Oh, the huh. same is true for weapon pulls. That's okay. neat. Seems like a great opportunity for travelers to make up for missing out on certain characters and weapons that they wanted. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's one thing that I have to clarify. Oh. These new banners will only feature five-star characters that have had at least three character event wishes and have not appeared on any recent banners. Mm. Hunter's Path? More details about the Chronicle oh my Wish God, banners finally. will be I revealed in an official Finally note. for Tignari. Be sure to keep finally. it Finally, you're interested in My them. biggest regret also, in the game. Version 4 Dude, will introduce a Tignari is so much fun. To make it easy not for getting this weapon is the biggest back. mistake in my Genshin career. We'll provide more details later on in the program. Okay. We've just finished the event wish section of the program. Yeah, it's Let's still a 50 50, kind of. Uh, second redemption code. Awesome. Eh. But it's nice like that you can target, like, past characters. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. And it looks like it's event based. So maybe we have this for, like, Monstat and then they switch it to Leeway or Inazuma, like, uh, a few patches later. By the way, 
Notice how that came out right around the time something else came out. I'm just saying competition is good. All right. I'm just saying it's good. It makes all games better. That's what we want. So we, the gamers win for the people that play everything like. So if it's 50 kind of, but you can target characters and it's cheaper than the weapon banner because it's only one fade point needed. Yes, exactly. Exactly, exactly. And having more options was necessary, dude. I'll, I'll be honest though, it could have been better. It could have been better. I'll be honest with you. The fact that standard still hasn't gotten like any type of update and you can get a five star and it only gives like, like a five star dupe past C6 and it only gives like a 25 Welcome back to the version 4.5 special program. Good. Let's move on to the next. And the weapon content. banner is still a scam. Let me see here. I'd, I'd rather them have huh. fixed the weapon banner. Mm -hmm. Judging from the to be like a weapon guarantee and the color of the liquid, or 50 50. I'm guessing that the bottle has something to do with alchemy. Oh. And judging from our surroundings, maybe Mondstadt is also involved. Bingo. Alice, maybe. Next, we're introducing an event that takes place in Mondstadt. It's an alchemy event. Yay! Alchemy As the city event. of Mondstadt continues to develop, Albedo? the leaders are busy with planning for its future. The Knights of Favonius have always been conducting alchemy research, and they've been looking for a way to showcase their results. Albedo? Lisa came up with the idea to open a potion shop. The people of Mondstadt can learn more about alchemy, and the Knights can better understand their needs. Everybody wins. Wait, that sounds super exciting. They just made yeah, a third definitely. rerun banner and made it slightly less of a scam for weapons. Will get to run yeah, the potion I, shop during this event. I would have oh. liked if they and just that fixed like? the weapon banner. In the alchemical ascension awful. event, travelers will need to cultivate herbs, brew potions, and sell their products to increase the shop's revenue and expand their business. Cool. So it's a management sim. Ooh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> travelers who build up the revenue and run the shop smoothly will be able to earn various rewards. Nice. These include Primo gems and a four-star polearm. Wow. Dialogues of Desert Sages. Nice. <laughs> Travelers can also look forward to meeting familiar companions at the hey, shop. Hey, Beta, you can look scale let's go. Even faster if they it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Customers' requirements. Oh, hmm. sounds pretty neat. <laughs> Beta, get an yeah, alchemy. Well, me too. What, what are you That's trying all to I do, have Beto? to announce about this event. What's the next bit of news? Trying to bring a gift back to Ningguang. What? Huh? I feel like we don't even need to introduce this one. Everyone can understand that our upcoming content is about cats. <sighs> it's like I've returned home. <laughs> <laughs> Julia's already gotten in the character. Hey, wait, wait a second. So, so how does a new banner work? It's a, it's a separate banner. 50-50, quote-unquote. Uh, oh. You can select oh, what Sucrose. character slash weapon no you comment. want. Wait, really? She's not? <laughs> and it will focus on just the <laughs> weapons or characters. We've completely gone off but topic. you can still lose a 50-50, not get what you want, and then you event, get a point, and you can use that point to guarantee the next five star the to be the thing that you selected. All sorts of strange creatures but it's only old weapons. It's not limited weapons. this time, they've decided to take some time to visit the familiar cat's tail. Ah, that makes sense. Since they've been on the road for so long, mm. there's no better way to relieve your fatigue than spending time with basically some firepower cats. supply. Kind yeah. of. I still say firepower supply is better, but. <laughs> <laughs> to so be precise, just remove that 50 50, bro. Bro, just make the weapon banner better because the weapon banner is still a scam. A you still need to prepare uh, points for the cats to play to their heart's content. Travelers simply need to set up fluffy feline homes for the cats, satisfy specific it's target a, requirements, It's a distraction and to not make the weapon banner the better. With their favorite food. <laughs> Only then will travelers be able to play with their furry friends at the Throne of Meow. Like, it's nice, don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's cool to have, tricky. but it doesn't fix the do problem with the current Just weapon do your best. <laughs> Once travelers have It adds, like, a side option for older cats. stuff. That's it. They'll be able to meet the current stuff friend. is still really yep. bad for weapons. And it seems like you're already a very good friend to the cats. Hey, you know what all this cat oh, no. talk reminds me of? Mm? Card games. <laughs> Into Dude, that, love really that. Okay, that's pretty sick. Right? That's pretty sick. I can Second year seven just passed recently. Welcome back for two years. Now to play some genius invocation that was a great TCG two years after playing uh, with all those cats. We had him looking forward to the next two years. Great. Play Boss man, thank you, thank you, thank play you. It's appreciated. Fireworks? I don't know if it worked. Fireworks? Suddenly, two years. I feel like there's not enough hours in the day. <laughs> you, might be you know they're not gonna then. fix that, right? I'm Version 4.5 is adding even more I'm new cards, events, and challenges to Genius Invocation TCG for all travelers. 
Aside from Popium, playing Popium. with cats and engaging in card games, the developers also prepared some challenges that will give travelers the opportunity to show up their skills. Ooh. In version 4.5, travelers will meet two guard members in Fontaine. One of them is a genius inventor who rejected an invitation from the Fontaine Research Institute three times. Mm. Whoa. Wow. Two thumbs up? Sure seems like there are a lot of geniuses in Fontaine. I wonder if that place has so many cool inventions. This genius inventor will lend the traveler a remote cannon that he invented to take down a fearsome hilly churl rogue. Uh, I meant that the cannon will be used to take down slimes. Oh, <laughs> that's cool too. <laughs> Reminds me of the marbles that we would play with when we were younger. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Totally. So in this event, intertwined or fate or new banner, new banner. The They're not revamping any of the old banners. Swapping banner is still a scam. Endless horde of slimes. So it's gonna be a, 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 a new by type triggering banner, elemental reactions. The more points you earn, the more rewards that you can obtain. Ooh. Yes, rewards. Give me. Delicious. Special equipment will also appear on the field. Okay. Using them will net you even more points. Sweet. Okay, our next event involves a mysterious concoction called the Phase Potion. Oh, that's something that Jami developed, right? Might be a filler patch. Oh, next patch is Dane Slate for the new region. The that's my guess. Darshan. That's what it, that's what it looks like. Participate in a bunch of experiments that's my theory. That's what it's thesis? looking at. Like, yep. Oh. He's made some improvements and Just what, what we're seeing so far. So and the trailer didn't like have out. anything lore pertinent in for the most part. challenges, you had to wait for the potion to take effect. This time, travelers will But then it's alchemy based, so maybe Albedo drops like a secret like lore bomb arena. potentially. Oh. You can even take pictures when this mode is active. Neat. Mm -hmm. Time will resume when you move or use any type of skill. Mm. You'll enter time dilation mode again once you stop moving or using your skills. Mhm. Mm yep. Time will stop as long as you don't move after unleashing a skill. It's pretty sweet, right? Mm. <laughs> I'm sure that travelers will be able to take tons of cool pictures of their characters. No, yeah, like what kind absolutely. of fates will it use? Oh, travelers I, will I don't. That I focus didn't see. On accumulating phase force during combat. Once you have enough. I don't of know it, if it's like new fates or if it's like intertwined so slash standard. Challenge. I imagine it's standard. If I had to take a guess. But. Also, the leyline overflow event will be returning in version 4.5, so nice. don't miss out, you guys. Yeah. Well, have you tried the latest combat event with random characters? Uh, it was so fun. Was it actually 4. fun? 5. Like, not and just like instantly? Have... Is it gone? Second. Can I try it on my phone? A lot of information, don't you think? That's true. Let's take a short break and look at the last redemption code before we continue. Yeah, that's a good idea. Then we'll see everyone on the flip side. It's gone? Yeah. Did you stay in China or I'm in LA for the Hong Kong Impact Art event? If you're there, say hi. Santa Monica Pier tomorrow or today. Today? Today. That depends on time zones. It's gone? Oh, I didn't think it was going to be fun. A beta of another game dropped, so, you know, I was kind of focusing on that, but... Damn, I did. I, I thought it was just going to be another one of those, like, you go in, and then you instant delete everything, and, and then you, you go out. That's... Big mood. Big mood, big mood. Do you think it should have been permanent? Was it, like, really good? That's a really good sign. If y'all can all make sure in feedback to, like, focus on that. Because they're still considering a new permanent game mode, but they haven't decided what they're going to do yet. The last time they talked about it, the more feedback we can give on like a, like combat events, the more of a chance that we can actually get a combat event that's permanent. Because the fact that we're three years deep, but we still don't have one is, is kind of feels bad. Dumb. Welcome back. It's actually challenging on last one and I really lose. Events in version 4.5. The developers also plan to fuse system optimizations. Okay, Let's quality of life. What do we got? After version 4.5, travelers will be able to view a oh, character's cool. talent upgrade materials on okay. the character talent interface menu. That's cool. Hopefully this helps everyone understand what materials they need in order to improve a character's skills. Remember the new training guide that we mentioned earlier? That's also a new feature that's coming to version 4.5. Mm. Travelers who are adventure rank 12 or higher okay. and have completed the quest, Welcome to the Adventurer's Guild, will be able to refer to this guide by accessing the Paimon menu okay. or pause menu. This guide will provide enhancement goals and suggestions based on the levels, weapons, artifacts, and talents of your characters. It also takes your maximum world level into account. That's cool, Hopefully, yes. Hopefully, this guide will be helpful to travelers who've just started their journey into that. Yep, this guide was designed as a helpful resource for travelers who are relatively new to Tavat. Yeah, for new There's players, so that's nice. It makes a new player experience better. I'm sure that travelers will eventually figure out the best system for them. Mm. <laughs> for sure. Exploring all those possibilities is part of the fun. Totally. Mm. 
So far, we've just been covering the in-game content, but we also have some external news to share. During version 4.5, Genshin and hey. Hulk will be teaming up with the Discovery Sir. Channel to launch benefit events that raise awareness about environmental conservation. Genshin characters will serve as ambassadors for specific natural landscapes, and they'll be embarking on a journey with all the travelers out there. Yeah. Oh, so that is such How are they looking cool good, right? Incredible. I love it. <laughs> During Sheesh. version 4.5, travelers can also look forward to the release of I'm the Chen like Veil OST album, Jadeite Redolence. <coughs> the album will be comprised of two discs, which feature over 50 tracks by the Hoyo Mix team. It will okay. contain music from version 4.4. Mm -hmm. It even includes the music featured in the Lantern Rite Festival and Shen Yun's Story Quest. Mm. Yes. So cool. I can't wait. Telling us to touch grass, right? All right. right. Seems like we've delivered all of the information. Is that it? Wait, does that mean that we've come to the end of the special program? Oof. Oh, already? <sighs> yeah. You so okay. fast. Exactly. It really did. Okay, but is Wait. anyone else super excited for the cat cafe? Yes. 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 <laughs> Obviously. Yes, absolutely. Wait. Immediately. Cats. 100%. 110%. That's I'm it? I'm also really excited for everyone to meet Chiori. Woo! I mean, yes! like, they met her, yes, but absolutely. I want them to, like, meet her. Like, get to know her. Yes. yes. See her cool sword scissor attack so cool yes. right. i mean i'm a little biased but you know i mean and i think that's fair <laughs> there yes We're very fair thank you thank you i will so probably cool. end up spending a lot of time on the rolling crossfire event too uh mm -hmm. yes i will destroy those slimes destroy the slimes i will Can I just roll with it then huh <laughs> <laughs> i had to i had to there's no way <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Right? Bye, everyone. So <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming, yeah, guys. No, yeah. <laughs> Bye. See you later. See you in game. Surprise. Really? Okay, Chiori is a character that I'm more excited for than a lot of other characters. So Chiori alone brings it up by crazy. If we're not including the characters because we get a new character every every patch, right? If we don't consider that like part of the grade, so we remove character bias. Is that really it? That's a 4 out of 10 at most, bro. The trailer didn't even hint at any, like, like, it's alchemy, so maybe we get a hidden lore bomb by Albedo that, like, blows everybody's mind? But the fact that nothing was hinted in the trailer, if, if we're going off of that, I got, that's got to be the lowest I've ever given a stream, a 4 out of 10. Not to be mean, but... That might be the most filler patch we've ever gotten. Yeah, my guess is 4.6 will probably be a new region of Dane Slaves, if I have to guess. But that's, like, so risky. I imagine that they're, like, sacrificing all their dev time on this patch. And just giving all the dev time to, like, 4.6, 4.7, and then Natlin. That might be what they're doing. They might have just made the executive decision to literally just make, like, a super, super dead patch. And just been like, dude, let's just like ruin our sales for one month, but then like come back swinging. That might be it. Man, that, I'm not going to lie though. How many events did we get? Am I crazy? I, I feel like we got a management system event. We got a, 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 a cannon shooter event. And did we get a combat event? Oh, and the cat event, right? Is that it? I'm I'm super excited for Chiori. 
personally because I've always wanted a dedicated dual wielding character, and it's Geo. I love Geo. Albedo C6, Navio C6. Besides Chiori, though, it's a 4 out of 10 at most, dude. Maybe a 3 out of 10. I, like, like honestly, who did we see? We saw Chiori. A ton of monster characters, and that's it, right? Did we did we get, like, a... I guess Mona's there. I don't know. That, I... I I don't know. I, like like last year's Monset event was better. We had Sucrose, we had Albedo, we had um uh what was it? It was focused on actually fleshing out Sucrose as a character. You could see like all the anxieties that she was going through. I thought that story was absolutely fantastic. Like maybe the story is really good. I'm just judging it based off of the trailer. This trailer looked lacking. Like, am I am I wild for saying that? Like a four out of ten at most. Maybe a three out of ten. Like, there's been fun f past filler patches. Am I it, like it, like am I wild for saying that? Like, last year's Monsat Festival was really, like, I know a lot of people didn't like it because it was a filler patch, but, like, for me, it was one of my favorite patches. You know? Yeah, it felt, yeah, this felt like a 1.0 patch. You remember how Genshin Impact was in 1.1 to 1.1? 1.1 was even a better patch because we had the Albedo stuff. 1.2, wait, no, was it 1.2? Dragon Spine? No, Dragon Spine was 1.2. 1.1. This felt like a 1.1 patch. And even then, 1.1 had story lore implications. 0.5 patches are honestly a miss. What was what was last region's 0.5? The end of the stream where they're just talking random stuff. Well, they do that every stream. That's normal. That's normal. If anything, the voice actors brought a lot of life to the stream. I like that. 1.1 had an Archon quest. Oh. 3.5 was Kalei? Yeah, like I liked the Kalei one. 3.5 was really good. 3.5 was... <coughs> like that might be a hot take. 3.5 was really good. We had a good amount of events. The Kalei story was actually fantastic. And was Carry Bird in there? Let's watch the trailer again. Sure, 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 sure. That that was that was I don't know. Uh I'm don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Chiori, you best believe we might see two to potentially C6, depending on how fun her gameplay. But already just looking at it, she's like a guaranteed C2. And her ult looks really good. I might C6. But the content itself, like, bro, we're, we're three years in and we still don't have, like, a combat gameplay focus end game besides Spiral, you know? Um, hold on, they just posted the trailer. Wow. Let's, let's watch it again. I can't believe I'm Maybe I missed something. Just shaking up Mondstadt's entire wine industry in my own two hands! 2.5 was Enkonomiya. What was 3.5? Kole? Yikes, bro. Yeah, I don't know. That I, I, and like the quality of life is cool. It's cool to see that they're doing more quality of life. I'm super proud and happy that they're doing it because before we were getting no quality of life before Fontaine slash Sumeru, right? That's awesome, but it's not the quality of life that we've been asking for. Economia is two point five or two point four. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Three point five was Dane Quest plus Kole. Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. No. Yeah, 1.5 had Azdaha. Yikes. Yeah. No. That. That's, uh. I can just see it now. The more alcohol those drug consume. 2.5 was Raiden's story, too. Yikes. 
The more sober they'll become! I wonder if it could also be used to turn water into wine? Alternatively, a strength-enhancing potion could make it so that Pinewood could take down an Abyss Mage all on her own. How are we supposed to make a potion like that? The pain from walking on all that rough terrain. It's like it was never there. With this in my arsenal, I bet I could deliver 200 orders in a single day. Excuse me. Coming through. Coming through. Chiori, your, your shipment's here. Maybe. The saving grace was Chiori. Literally, like, I'm so excited for Chiori. I'm so dead serious. This is one of my most anticipated characters just for the fact she's dual wielding. But besides that, like... A bit of letting out around the middle. No, just ran into a bit of trouble. I would say the biggest news coming from the patch is the new banner type. Even then, don't get me wrong, it's nice. I'd rather have that than nothing. It's just a distraction from the fact the weapon banner still isn't better. Like, let's be real. The fact that you can still fail two 50-50s in a row, and then you have to go for a third to guarantee the weapon, is still a scam. It's up to me to decide who I want to be. I'm to cut my own. I'm so, I'm so excited for Chiori, though. I, bro, like, her gameplay looks so good. No one can tell me what to do. Bro. Nah, nah her gameplay looks amazing. I'd like the potential to be my new main. Let's go, Tomato. Potential to be my new main. Delicate as silk. And next customer, Vespina's on the case. And I can use her E to go into the air and then switch into another character. That speeds up the gameplay by a lot. And if she has any type of good synergy with Navia, <laughs> Navia revived fun gameplay for me in, in uh, Genshin. Her and uh, Fiorina. So if she can work with Navia, bro, that, that will increase my fun factor by a lot. Is what I would say, but besides Spiral Abyss, we still don't have any other endgame content. Fiori here, I'd like to return my outfit. What kind of rag are you trying to sell us, huh? You didn't get bought out by my competitors, did you? She's insanely pretty. Is that it? Was that really... That was the trailer? I'm, I'm sorry. That was the super mid-patch. I Respectfully. Like, it's gonna be cute. I'm gonna enjoy it, but... Bro, to go from the Kole patch, the mo can we can we look can we watch that together? What what patch is that? 3.5? That's last year's. Can we watch the 3.5 together? Maybe I'm in over hyping 3.5. Hold on. What was last year's? What was oh, last year's? Dear creature. Why do you bow down? Nah, it, it's not even close. Carrie Burt was insane. My mind was broken for a week after this. 3.5 was insanely good. Nah, bro. It's not even close. It's not even close. Car if Caribert was in 3.5? And Dea? And the Kole Quest? Nah, that was actually a banger patch. The difference is night and day. The difference is night and day. 4.6 needs to be a 10 out of 10 patch. Respectfully. I, I'm usually not, I'm usually, you guys, I, type one in the chat if I'm usually like crazy hyped. If anything, overly positive about a Genshin patch more than like other CCs. My my flaw as a creator is I'm usually overhyped content. That's true, right? I usually overhype content. I'm usually not the critique, right? Like we agree on that, right? This, this was a mid patch. If you, if you're telling me that this was last year's 3.5, I've never seen any. And then we That's had the full festival. Think you've ruined Sumeru's reputation in Mondstadt beyond all hope of repair. We we could have had a Wind Bloom festival with Fiorina. And Venti like having some Archon moments with Fiorina. And then introducing how good Kale is doing now and how Sucrose is doing now with their new friendship. Like, and then and then because Kole is a, is like an academic student and Sucrose and Albedo are alchemists, you could have had the event still centered around alchemy. And it had really good lore moments. Bro, mid-patch. Sorry. 4.5. 4 I'm actually really disappointed. I... 
especially considering there was an, there was literally a voice line talking about hinting Fiorina might appear in Mondstadt in the future. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Are they stalling because it's a busy time right now for Honkai Star Rail? Different dev teams. They're not the same dev teams. Like, it, it, it's a completely separate... You, you know what I mean? I'm, it's confusing. Is everything okay? How do we go from, like, some of the best patches in the history of Genshin Impact with 4.0, 4.1, and 4.2, and 4.3? Right? And 4.4 .4 being a decent, really good patch, Lantern, right? Right? To this. I, like, we, we went from boom to, to we like reverted back to a 1.0 quality patch. Check out 2.5. That's a good idea. What was 2.5? Let's take a peek. Man, was it Yai Sakura? Oh, oh, nah, bro. <laughs> it's not even. Yikes. Dude. It, 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 bro. This was the expansion to Enkonomiya. Darkness that cannot be N not Enkonomiya originally. This was the follow up patch that gave more to Enkonomiya. Yeah, I'm not. There's been reports of monsters. The likes of which no one has ever seen. Why? Before. Strange monsters? And. What was 2.6? Maybe. Maybe. 2.6 was a slow patch, right? Maybe. Not even that was good. Like, I liked this patch. Because it was like Venti, Albedo. It was one of the wow, best limited event so patches. Venti, Albedo, Kazuha, Ayaka. Like, and and this was Chasm? Everyone's driving themselves crazy worrying about it. Maybe whatever's going on in the... Nah, bro. A 4.5 is a disappointment. Respectfully. Like, again, I'm going to be excited for Chiori. I'm so confused. Th this might actually be, like, the lowest quality. Check 3.6. Because 3.5 was good, right? Even this was a banger. Bro. I come from an ancient race. We have existed for a very long time. Even 3.6 was a banger. Any records in existence. And 3.5 was a banger. And you're telling me 4.5 is that? Dread? Nah, man. Nah. I'm so confused. Yeah, we had a path. Leaning on the heavens New blood. Archon quest? Is there any way to avoid fighting? Bro. I'm so confused. How, what? <laughs> that is the 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 weakest patch in in Genshin Impact, I think. Hello, travelers. Besides Chiori. Cuz ironically enough, Chiori is probably going to end up being my favorite character gameplay-wise, potentially. Just because she, she increases the speed of quick swaps. And she's dual wielding, which is like my favorite. Which is so ironic because the patch itself that she's in is... is... Welcome to the 4.5 special program. What, what was 1.5 for real? Wait a minute. Oh, and it was Asta, huh? Nah, bro. If nah, this, fated, this is will. this is by far the worst patch. Meet again. This is by far. Four point five is a two out of ten, three out of ten at most. Wow. I'm actually. It must have been about four or five things it, ago. It's one thing to have a filler patch because we've had filler patches in the past, but this might actually be the least filled out patch in the history of Genshin Impact. What was 1.1? Because I know 1.1 or 1. What was 1.1? Oddities back and forth. And those that come across Leoa tend to stay a while. And this was Leeway Archon Quest. 1.2 was Dragon Spine, I think, right? Yeah, that was a banger. 1.3? Uh-uh. It, bro. Nope.
one point even when bro what happened I'm so disappointed I'm usually like the 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 one hype positive dude out of all the creators that are like annoyed the, I have two theories I don't know if I'm gonna say the second one the first theory is they really are having this patch be a sacrifice for like reputation and and money revenue because they want everything on the next two patches right before Natlin for peak marketing hype. And, and th that's what I think it is, right? The other theory is maybe their team is expanding and they're trying out a ton of new positions to figure out how they can make and pump out more content. It, like those are the only explanations because 4.5 is looking to be the worst patch ever released in the history of Genshin Impact. Besides the fact that Chiori is, Chiori is an absolute beauty um, and has some of the coolest combat I've seen and increases the speed rotations of combat. Wow, I can't believe I'm holding the key to shaking up Mondstadt's entire I think it's because 4.4 .4 just dropped a new map. That's what the Chinese community said. 3.5 dropped Chasm. Like, like that's not an excuse. Three or three point five was Windbloom. Windbloom looked better. It had a, it had the Karabert quest. It didn't even have a new region. I don't think. Three point seven was a dead patch. Maybe three point seven was a dead patch. Hold on. No, bro. This was the the union of like a character from every single region. For this a multi-nation event. Are you kidding me? No, this was a banger. I'm sorry. This is looking to be the worst patch ever released. Three point seven was very hated on the internet. Yeah, but at least the event has literally characters from every single region. 4.5 doesn't even have that. Yeah, 4.5 barely showed any characters. It's Chiori and then a ton of monsters. That's it. Like, respectfully. that That's just... I'm sorry. This is... Yikes, bro. Like... So confused. Did you? Wow. What are the events? We have the store management event. Cool rewards. Love to see that. Furniture decorating event. Rolling crossfire event. One combat event, which is just a camera insta kill. Leyline over. Check how many minutes the live stream was, because I have a feeling the this was the shortest live stream. 25 minutes bro it was that's crazy that's wild oh my god uh... <laughs> are you are you proud of your editing yeah yeah <laughs> 
Island dying in the background because he's happy with how his video is coming out. Oh, man. Yikes, man. I don't know. That's disappointing. I'm excited for Chiori because, ironically enough, even though this looks like the worst patch ever, Chiori is probably going to be one of my favorite, if not favorite, character gameplay-wise. All I hear on this side is just a spout full of copium constantly. Bro, it's just... It, this might be the most disappointing patch ever released by Genshin Impact. Minutes? 25 minutes. What was the one before? Forty-seven. Bro, this might th th this might be the most disappointing patch I've ever seen. What is new? Chiori. Okay. Story event. Okay. Chiori character quest. Okay. And then a few events, and that's it. There's not something like cool. The the limited time event story, right? Uh, is Chiori and a ton of monsters and Kirara. That's it. Amazon Prime. <laughs> Bro, this might actually be the worst. I'm so so disappointed. You know what was three point five? It was Thane's Age. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. That's why I was assuming Thane's Age. Bro, is the actually a tragedy, dude. You know, like I'm usually the guy that's like overhyping good content. It was like a 2 out of 10 for me. Yeah. At most. Yeah. With bias, a 4 out of 10. But that's only because Chiori herself adds another 2 points. What was your what was your copium reason? They're sacrificing this entire patch in order to like jam-pack the rest of the patches. In order for peak marketing before Natlin. To bring in a ton of players. And even then, that's like a terrible move. To have a to, to have a full on sacrificial patch, like you can have a filler patch, but you still want to have like. No, I think this is my personal take. Mm -hmm. I think the Insane Quest was supposed to be here. Mm. Think about it. If it was, it fills out the forty minutes. I mean, yeah, but so I think they just delayed it for whatever reason. Interesting. Cause but like, there's no way because it's never been this short. The only reason why it would be this short is if they cut something. Yeah, I could see that. And then they delayed it for the next patch. So maybe the next patch is like overly packed. Yeah. Copium. If I understand correctly, also when Daisy comes out, there's a new area that releases with them. So it's like... Yeah, but like last year's also came out with a new area. Yeah. Yeah, my my only take is uh, I hope you're right about that. And if that's the case, we're getting more content than what we're supposed to in the next one to make up for it. I'm Go so tired. Same. Copium theorem of mine. Uh, the team is working on Genshin anime. No, that's a no. <laughs> that's that's sorry. That's by UFO table. That's not like they're the ones that work on that. They have story writers and like lore people that like might help out with that from the the dev team. But besides that, like there's a studio dedicated to making that anime. That is not the reason why. Why do you have like alarms going off in the middle of your stream? Oh, I thought this is when the stream was going to happen. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pressure on them now, especially what's coming soon from other games. Pressure's on now. Which is good. Honestly, might be a good thing. Because now that the pressure is on, that means they got to do good and they got to cook. Because if they don't cook, they're going to get cooked. Which is a good thing. Because then that means five months down the road, copium, they're going to kill it with Natlin. And us gamers are going to be the ones that win. Because competition breeds innovation. <coughs> I'm assuming people are upset. I'm assuming people are upset. I'm gonna go look at Twitter D drama. Dude, let me know. I don't want to look at it because I don't want to pull it up on stream because it's not my my uh my stream setup. But yeah. let me know the the reaction. That, uh, chat, type in the chat what you think about the patch on a scale of zero to ten. Honest thoughts. Honest thoughts. Honest thoughts. Zero to ten. What are we thinking? What is the thought process? Zero. Three out of ten. Two out of ten. One out of ten. Three, two, three, five, four, three, four, one, five, three. This might be the lowest I've ever seen from chat. And my chat is usually one of the most overly positive. Yikes. For the Dream Team fam to be giving ones is insane. I never thought I'd see the day. Usually we give eights when other stream communities are giving sixes. 
That's wild. Two because of Chiori. Honestly, like Chiori is going to be peak hype. But besides that, 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 is, I don't know, man. I don't know. That is a, that is a yikes, bro. That is a mega yikes. Like, hold on, chat. I can't see you. Come back. Come back to me. Okay. We're good. We're good. Maybe a one out of 10. Maybe a one out of 10. Potentially. I'm going to be real. Ain't no BS for me. Uh -huh. What? Wait, why is that backwards? It's tilting me. <laughs> it just, it looks better. No BS. This is my honest thoughts. Mm. All these people high on copium as hell saying it's okay. It's not bad. It's, things are, events are still cool. Especially a lot of content creators, my friends. They all be on copium as but hell. It, but Twitter. it's usually me. And for me to be like, this was a the worst patch they've ever you know, released. You know how they always do the good thing first and the negative thing in second kind of deal? Yeah. I see that. I see a lot of that going on on Twitter right now. And I'm like, yo, motherfucker, that shit sucks. <laughs> <laughs> this patch sucks ass. Get out of here. <laughs> Bro. I don't know. That I, I'm not... Yikes, bro. And honestly, you know what's the sad part, chat? But it's kind of good. On the bright side, this gives me time to do other content. Catch up on all the backlog of content I got. Dope. My problem is there's too many good games right now. This kind of helped me out. <laughs> this this low-key helped me out. I'm not going to lie. My problem, genuinely, is there's too too many good games usually i'm like i'm like that meme of the blonde girl that's getting fed like the 10 dishes you know what i mean now like it's not as many dishes sweet <laughs> that's kind of the good news for me that's the one silver lining you know uh I'm, that is true i did you know what <laughs> <laughs> just before when was it i think it's the last time i streamed uh-huh i was talking to somebody and i was just like kind of like no it was the last time i streamed i was just like yo i need to like let me get a week because mm. i didn't realize this live stream was today i thought it was next week yep and i found that it was today and i was like yo i just need a week to uh -huh. catch up on stuff yeah and i was panicking because i have so much to do but yeah this patch stops like catch up on stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this gives great. me a, this gives me a great. whole month to catch up on great that's great that is very nice because i can still got a I hope the Genshin devs aren't overworking themselves. True. True. We can't afford that. Especially with Natlin coming in the future. Like. Yikes, dude. I'm back. How was the live stream? Mordred, it was bad. Like, 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 no memes. I know that sounds weird coming from me, but like, it, I think it was the worst patch they've ever released. Which is yikes. For me to say. Worst than... 1.0? Yeah, because 1.0, I had two regions to explore. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. you know what? To be honest, bro. bro. To be honest, one point zero is peak. Just because it was. Peak. Yeah, like, wait. Th think about it, chat. Remember when the game released and everybody was like out of their mind exploring every corner of the two regions that we had in the very beginning of the game, and it was like peak content. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. One point zero was hype. One point zero was peak hype. That was. That was. That was. Oof. Oh, it's crazy. Ah, man. I'm so... That's weird. To go from 4.0 to 4.4, some of the best quality patches ever in the history of Genshin, to, like, make the worst patch ever? Isn't that weird? And they made a crazy amount of money with, with Purina and everybody. Well, if there's good patches, there's bound to be down. Yeah, but this is, like... I think Dane Quest is in 4.6 instead of this patch because it's going to be the new region. I mean, yeah, that's fine, but last region in Sumeru, there was two expansions and two different patches. There was one in Dane, 
which was Chasm, and then we had Karabur right afterwards. Whatever, I, I'm used to you pronouncing things on purposely bad on purpose. I swear, I just wanna like punch you. Karabur, <laughs> Yeah, Karabur. Karabur. <laughs> oh man. Holy. By the way, Bonds, guess what uh, Honkai patch you joined in? Oh, what? Huh? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Nani? I know which one it was. It was the EVA collab at the end of it, right before Senti came out. And then Senti came out. That was my first, like, full patch. <laughs> EVA collab. EVA. <laughs> Motherfucker. It's either Eva or Evangelion. You pick one. <laughs> Oh man. Um, I... <laughs> oh bro. He's gotta deal with me all weekend. Send your thoughts and prayers to Island XD. <laughs> I do wanna say though, um I'm happy Furina's not in this patch because I don't want them to constantly milk her every patch. Besides next patch is nine times out of ten. Bro, I don't that's such a weird take. I know I'm biased because Furina is arguably my favorite character in the game, story-wise, but uh, I don't care who it is. The weakness of Genshin storytelling isn't the fact that there is a lot of characters. It's the fact that there isn't a lot of consistency of bringing back certain characters. It's very sporadic. You know what I mean? Part of the reason why Furina sells so well is because she appears consistently and it gives them time to flesh out her character. You know? I feel like more characters should get that. Like, the the only core cast we have in Genshin Impact is Paimon. Besides the travel. And there's so many... And, and before anyone's like, oh, but it's because everyone's busy with their own nations. That's not true. Beto is a pirate. Kazuha is, like, floating everywhere and before everyone's like oh well he has allegiance to Beto then why did he join us for a summer vacation with Alice and Klee he's a wandering dude that just has a bias towards Beto right um Adea says that she wants to travel the world Yorimiya's entire second story quest literally talks about how she wants to go to different regions more often Fiorina has a plot point talking about how she would like to see other countries as well and then she does in leeway um yeah I I I don't think it's milking her. I think for once we actually have reoccurring characters and it's nice, to be honest with you. Which is why I think this patch is so weak because all the characters in this event specifically, and I could be wrong when we play the story, maybe we get Albedo, maybe we get like a big lore drop from Albedo and we all lose our minds. But they didn't show anything or implied anything in the trailer um, when they usually do. Even if like, heck, some Genshin trailers imply things that aren't even real, and they debate you because they use a voice line from a world quest. Making you think it's a main story quest, but at least the world quest was hype. You know? I don't know. Like, re respectfully, that was a yikers patch, dude. I, I'm so confused. So confused. Genshin special program is trending on Twitter. Even Bran said, other than the new ban, this is what Bran's saying. Other than the new banner system, I'm very underwhelmed with the current update, but thankful there's other things to carry the time until the next patch with HSR, WW, and other things. Yeah, same. Same, 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 same. Alpha, part two, HI3, like W's, dude. Honestly, funnily enough, this is like the best thing that could have happened for me, honestly. Because I, I was talking to Island earlier today, I was overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed, dude. Because, there, like, there's so much we need to do when we get back. I was over... Like, I'm not going to lie. I was... I, I, I said it before we left, too. Like, I don't know how we're going to get all that content done um, at a reasonable time. This is going to give me a whole month to, like, knock everything else out. So, in a weird way, it's, like, the perfect timing for the worst patch. But the bad thing is I'm a variety gamer. If you're not a variety gamer, this has gotta hurt so much. 
Like, for the people that are, like, Genshin onlys. Oh, for the creators that are Genshin onlys. Like, dude. Yikes, bro. You know? Um... Yeah. If you look at the cycles of each game, they're lining up to help each other. That's you, you can't even use that as an argument because last year, Genshin actually had a really solid patch for 3.5. At the same time that their other games had really solid patches as well. You know? I don't know. It's just like, yikes. It's weird. I don't... I, I don't... This is weird. I, I've, I've never been that disappointed by a Genshin patch. Even like I'm usually the only guy on Twitter where everyone else is Doom posting. I'm like the only dude that's like excited for a patch when it's a filler patch. Like when Bloom. like when Windbloom happened, everyone was saying the same thing. They were like, "Oh my God, this is such a such a slow patch." And da, da, da. I was the only guy on Twitter like, "Dude, Kole's back. Let's go!" You know. Um, yeah. I, uh... And and before anyone's like, oh well, at least they have the new the the new wish banner. It's still a 50-50. and the limit the current limited weapon banner is still the biggest scam in the history of of Skamaz in Genshin. They and they haven't improved it, and and we're three years in, and it's like my one thing I'm excited for this patch, which is Chiori. The only thing I can use her for content in is Spiral Abyss, and that's it. Like, I don't know. Yeah, bad timing to have a bad patch for them, good timing for you, honestly. But just bizarre, especially with everything else coming out. That's the thing, it's like, with every other game, Releasing their best patches, and I do mean their best patches. Why would you have this be the time to, to do to release your worst patch ever? It's one thing for it to be a, a filler, but you know. My only theory, and I said this before, but just to say it again, like clip it and ship it, remember this, because I could be right. The only explanation is they're seeing all these new games release, and they're seeing the old games release banger patches and like revamps and updates. And they're like, if we don't do something big, we won't be like as big as we are now. And maybe they are sacrificing all their dev time for this patch, and they're just putting it in to get a ton of necessary things out. But that's the only explanation. But what that means is, if the next dev stream comes out, and the next dev stream after that comes out, and Natlin comes out, and it's not the best patch streams ever, then it doesn't excuse how bad this one is. You know what would fix all this? There's a solution to this. You know what's the solution? If they would just communicate. You could literally make all your players happy if they just release a dev blog post and are like, hey, the reason why this patch didn't have as much content is because we're working really hard to bring something extra special for the next two patches and we want Natlin to be the biggest thing we've ever released in the history of Gacha Mobile Gaming. Boom, you release a statement like that, even if people are mad, like that will hold people over, you know? Um, Oh, they won't even do that though. I'm sorry for being a Doom poster, but this one is. Uh... Doomer. <laughs> Here's my final statement. Okay.
Nice profile picture. Me, 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 me. Nice profile picture. Nice profile picture. Me. He's still gonna have a profile picture for a week. Listen. Once I'm back, we'll have two days. We'll burn through the hours and then we'll be done. Okay? Just two more days. Once I'm back. Once I'm back, two more days and it's gone. Adios. Here's my final statement, fam. Here's my final statement. That, 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 this is it. Like, I don't know. <clears throat> Yikes. Just yikes. This shouldn't really put you in a mood, huh? I... Yeah. Um. So disappointed. Sparkle video is popping off. Oh, it exploded. That one, that one went crazy, dude. Crazy, crazy. Like, insane. <laughs> I can't, I don't know. That's so weird. So weird. Even the trailer felt weird. Like, you can remove Karabert from the Windbloom Festival event trailer from last year, but it was still more hype because you had Kale returning to Mondstadt. Like, they could have had Furina go to Mondstadt, made up with Venti, have Albedo and Kale be the focus still, right? There, there, there are so many other story plot points they could have done to make this interesting, at the very least with the event story quest. They didn't even do that. I don't know. Surely a yikes. Surely they'll come back strong. Yeah, I just hope that they make up for it. Is my thing. It's okay if you, you don't do a good job, but you gotta you gotta make up for it. There's gotta be a reason why, you know? <clears throat> There's gotta be a reason why. There's barely any events. I mean If net, I'll, I'll take back everything I said. If next patch, it's Dane Slave Quest, new region, and on top of that, new permanent endgame mode. And it, the new permanent endgame mode isn't Yahtzee or Jenga, it's actual gameplay of the characters that's like a roguelike or a combat event that's like permanent and is a different way to try out you know, the character, or is it Dungeon Explorer, the way we had with uh, the child event in Inazuma. Um, yeah, that's the only way. I hate to be being close but... I hope that that's the case. I hope that that's the case. Well, they wish they would be more open with their fandom. Dude! That's the biggest thing, bro. None of this would be a problem if they just communicated. Release dev blogs that explain why a patch is great or not great. And be honest about it and be transparent about it. Like, it's not like that hasn't been done before. Like, so many other teams do that. I don't know, man. <clears throat> it, it's also tricky, though, because on the other side of things the opposite perspective is the fact that since genshin is so big anything you say can be used against you and it gets magnified by how huge the community is right but bro some communication is better than nothing like And new weekly boss, hopefully. And new weekly boss, hopefully. 100%. 100%.
down. Four point six needs to be a ten out of ten to compensate this patch. I agree. It's got to be a nine out of ten or a ten out of ten. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Communication also can backfire. No, just have just be transparent. State the facts. Don't do like any assumptions or anything. Don't inflate your ego. Hey, this patch didn't have as much content as we would have liked to have added. The reason why is because we're working really hard to have really good patches in the future. We're working on a quality of life that's been very necessary for the past two years. We want Natlin to be the biggest region that ever gets released. Like, it, it, it's not hard. It, it, it's not a hard thing. I'm not asking for a, a, a roadmap of what to expect in the next few patches. Just honesty and transparency when you mess up. You know? It's like if you had a beta that got released, right? If you had a beta that got released and you knew the beta wasn't perfect and it had a ton of issues, the right way to communicate that is by releasing a dev blog that it's gonna have a ton of issues. That way the community knows that like you're aware of it and that you're actively trying to fix it. Like that alone does so much, right? Like, the, like just be honest, be transparent. It's okay to like admit to your flaws as long as you're actively working on them. And if people don't like that, they can go kick rocks. Like, we're all human. We all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. No company is perfect, right? But at the very least, admit that you're not perfect and you're working on the things that are affecting everybody and the people that support you. Talk about failures and problems um, isn't easy for a Chinese company. I've seen several companies do this, including Chinese companies. That's not an excuse. That's not an excuse. You don't have to frame it negatively. Just be honest and transparent. Exactly, Colbert. Exactly. <clears throat> that that's that's like oh. Are you gonna do the cooking event happening now? It's voice. The 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 what cooking event? Yeah. Object, you said it, not me. You said it, not me. Like, exactly. That's, that's exactly. Exactly, exactly. Like, there's multiple examples. They, they can do it. Hmm. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. Who knows? I'm curious what y'all say. Hold on. We got like 11 comments. Let's take a peek. I'm gonna make myself shrink. Genshin special program trending. That's crazy. Uh, latest dev discussion was also a bit try a bit try what do you mean a bit try by genshin question mark yeah i i i i subscribe to the thought that uh genshin 4.5 is the worst patch released by genshin we the weakest one respectfully 
I don't mean to be rude to the dev team. I know they work hard. They, 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 it's not easy to come up with all that stuff. Be creative, come up with new patches, work on models, animation rigs, all that. It's not easy at all and all the respect in the world to them. Uh, I've seen some of that process. I've literally gone to and seen some behind the scenes stuff. Like, But comparatively, that was the weakest patch out of everything else. You know? <clears throat> Cooking event is very funny. I seriously recommend you play it, even off stream. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Genshin pages uh, used to communicate and interact a lot after it came out, even posting and acknowledging memes, but they. Yeah. Yeah. They used to, initially. Initially, initially. They, they used to have, like, really big. Like, they have, like, quality of life posts right now, but they used to have, like, dev blogs in the beginning. Back in 1.0. Also, by the way, check out his latest video uh, vlog of him visiting the HQ. We met the Honkai Rider. Fun. I, I always butcher the name. That's why I don't say it. Because I'm scared of butchering names. Um, fun. Fun. Shwan, fun. I, I, I butcher it. I'm sorry. When they deliver quality for so long, it's just jarring to have the sudden drop. That's my biggest reason why. Is It's like we went from... 4.1 to 4.2 being some of the best Archon quests, if not, in my opinion, the best Archon quests ever made, and some of the best writing by Hoyo, right? To 4.3 and 4.4 being really good solid patches because we got brand new regions in both to just... <laughs> Everything exploding and not having anything to present. You know what I mean? Like... I don't know. It it it, it was Yeah. <clears throat> Just odd. I believe they stomped those cuz people were constantly complaining about privacy issues, but they're still monitoring what we do. Just know we don't get to see those blogs due to people complaining. Bro, people complain without the blogs. Why do you think Genshin Special Program is trending right now on Twitter? That that's not a that's also not a valid reason why either. You know? People will complain regardless. That's a fact. As as someone that has eyeballs like on my YouTube channel and has friends that are much bigger than way bigger than me. People will complain whether you communicate or you don't communicate, but you need to at least communicate so your core audience that are not just like negatively doom posting every single thing you do actually know you're working on something because those are the people that matter, you know? For everyone underwhelmed, mark your calendars from March 11th. You'll get a glimpse of why this 4.5 is like this. For Genshin? That's exciting. I will look forward to 4.11. I don't know why you're saying that, but hopefully it's something... Hopefully it's something cool. Boom! Secret update that comes in on the second phase of, of 4.5 and it's crazy or, you know. Yeah. Do you think 4.6 drip marketing would explain why 4.5 is mid? But, but it's characters get drip marketed. new character comes out every patch that's not a that, that doesn't explain anything the only way the only way again that it's this is okay is if they're working on crazy new content content not characters right content new end game mode new artifact loadouts equip uh, quality of life stuff that the community has been begging for for the longest amount of time right if all that happens then you know yeah, a new character does not... It could be Dane Slave. I, it does not matter. It does not justify a weak patch. It's got to be new content. Like, actual content. You know? It could be Skirk. Like, that would be... Again, that would be insanely hype. But the patch itself is still a weak patch. Don't we usually have fillers? Yes, and every other filler in every other region was better than this filler by a mile. Hmm. You know? 
better be Enkonomiya level. I, I hope so. And maybe that's the reason why. Like I said that earlier. Like maybe, Copium, they're sacrificing all of their dev time on this patch because they needed it to make double the amount of content next patch, you know? And it's going to be the most content dense patch to ever release. And if that's the case, totally worth it, right? Release a dev blog about that. Communicate that. They could release Dane Slave and Skirt for the drip marketing for the next patch. It still doesn't excuse the lack of content. Like, characters are nice, but if you don't have anything to use the characters and the content for, you know? Why would they have to admit to having a weak patch? It's not just admitting you have a weak patch, guys. Guys, guys, please listen. I'm begging you. It's not just saying that you have a weak patch. It's, hey, the reason why we have a weak patch is because we are working hard on future patches to bring something very special. It, it's not, oh, we have a weak patch. Thumbs up. Like, yes, we're aware of that. Congratulations. Congratulations. We also noticed that. Yes, 100%. It's also being like, the reason why is because we're working really hard to make extra special content because we want Natlin to be the best region ever released. And we're working on unique dynamic mechanics that we won't say what it is yet because we want it to be a surprise, but we know for a fact is gonna make you proud. You know? <clears throat> I'm at to bot bed boss. See you later. Adios, Hosh. Have a good one. Thanks for vibing. You mean a teaser? No, I don't mean a teaser. I mean a statement. L literally a Google Doc and you, you post it on the Hoyo Labs website. Like, like it doesn't got to be a teaser. It doesn't got to be art. It doesn't. It's literally just a written document. A paragraph. You know, a quick comment. It would have been nice if they at least teased something to hype people up for the future patch. Even a statement goes really far, you know? Yeah, honestly, them actually acknowledging and communicating it is much better than acting dumb about it. Yes, exactly. Exactly, exactly. You know? I've never ever seen Hoyo do that. Bro, they... What? Chat, please. Can y'all say it for me? They just did this. Who just did that? We just talked about it. Uh, thank you, Colbert. Thank you. Thank you. That it, exactly. Yes. Thank you. <clears throat> exactly. Thank you. <laughs> like. <laughs> It's not a new thing. I'm not suggesting a first time ever. And how is how is that any different? Don't it? How, how is that any different? Come on, man. I'm usually the guy hyping hyping stuff up, but we also got to be honest when it's when it's no bueno, you know. Yeah, like, like, this isn't a new thing, you know? Like, ba back in the 1.0 series of Genshin Impact, from 1.0 to 1.3, Genshin Impact would release dev blogs about future patch content that they were going to uh, add to the game. Like, I'm not asking for something new. It's just...
Exactly, Colbert. It is not different at all. At all, at all. You know? Wasn't that about in-game bugs versus a, a weak patch? No, it's it's re read the blog post. It's quite literally just not being up to standard. No, they didn't. No, yes, they did. If you were, as a 1.0 player, if you were back in Genshin Impact, they talked about the housing teapot system back in 1.1 in a blog post. That way people knew, hey, we know the 1.0 series content isn't dense. The reason why is we're working on a housing system that's going to release in the future. Everybody knew this in 1.0 because the devs released this. Yes, they used to. Like, like the, the, they've done this before. N not asking for something new, bro. Like. Yeah, they did give a small roadmap in 1.0. Yeah, it wasn't like big content stuff. It was, but you knew new content was coming in. Yeah, they did so many dev posts back in the day. Yes. The point here isn't also just the issue itself they would be addressing. It's the fact that they're addressing or informing people about what happened at all. Nah, they don't need to do that. You don't got to know why. Maybe something happened in the company. Maybe they're expanding. Maybe they have a bunch of new positions and they're doing a ton of training. Like that. That's for them to know, right? They don't need to share that. They didn't say anything about a lack of content? Sure, don't mention anything about the lack of content. That doesn't change the fact that they can release a dev blog saying, hey, we're making new content coming up in the future. Look forward to it. L let's go with that. 100%. Sure. Are you, are you going to defend that too? Like, come on, man. They're not doing anything is the point. They need to do something to make up for the fact that this patch is extremely like low quality. Any type of communication. Okay, don't admit that it's a weak patch. Sure. Release a dev blog saying, hey, look forward to in the next patch, we're going to have this new quality of life system. And on top of that new quality of life system, we're going to add a new permanent end game mode. And on top of that, this is what we're cooking up with Natla. Just wait till you see everything we're cooking. I don't even got to mention how, how weak this patch was. Like, like, there are so many different ways that they can tackle that. Any type of communication is better than no communication at all. They will post about that stuff later, obviously. They haven't, though, is the point. Hopefully they do. Hopefully. And if they do, awesome. You know? But they haven't. And they probably won't if we have new players or old players alike being like, it's fine. They don't need to do that. Because it's fine. They don't need to do that. You know? Like, y you got to be honest when, when there's things that can be improved upon. You do. I'm usually the guy hyping up every single patch, but that's why I'm just saying it. Recently, they've been posting dev blogs a day before the live stream. So you're saying... The next time we're gonna get an update is the day before the next live stream. And, and that's that's okay? Got it. My bad. Understood. We just gotta wait until the next patch. My fault. Should've known better. Hopefully they do something though. I trust Genshin. I know for a fact they're gonna actually cook for the new region. They haven't, in my opinion, missed with the new region. Could Inazuma's story have been more condensed? Sure, but personally, like it was a banger to actually go through that whole experience, you know? And they innovated so much with that as well. Sumeru was hype as hell. Story skyrocketed in quality in Sumeru. And then Fontaine was just peak cinema, you know? I don't know, it's just, just weird 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 
really boss for my situation since I don't have Kazuo Ito and I want to get Chiyori. I might have to grind more on a dry patch. Hey, it gives us time to catch up on our, on the bright side. The silver lining though is like, if there's any regions that we need to, need to explore, a quest that we need to do, which like for me, I do, like gives me a time to catch up. Which is kind of a weird bonus, weird silver lining. The artists and actual devs and designers are peak actually though. For real, the goats. The goats, the goats. In defense of Inazuma, it was during COVID when they were constrained at homes. I agree, and they released banger patches then. Every patch in Inazuma was better than this one. <laughs> like, by a mile. <laughs> you know? Like, it goes to show like how talented they are, man. Crazy talent. Like, wild. Curious what they're cooking. There's got to be a reason why, though. I truly think there's a reason why. I just, uh, I hope they they communicate that reason rather than do the usual wait until a few days before the next dev stream and then release the post. Uh, IRC, current head of the project for Genshin is what we call a high voltage wire. Someone who's hopeful but a strong background to stay in position, but take it with a grain of salt. I mean, is this like a new a new hire? Because that also doesn't excuse it because every patch before this one was better. I don't I don't think that's a valid reason. I'm sure that's what people are copium, but yeah, I'm aware. Of Mythical, we 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 mentioned that. There's a lot of other teams that do that. I think they should also do that as well. Agreed. Maybe their surveys actually told them that tons of players feel like they need to catch up, so we got a filler patch. Maybe. Maybe that's the reason why. You know? People are like, oh, I got world quests to do because I haven't touched my world quests. And they were like, oh, we'll just, we'll just not add any much content for this patch. Maybe that was the reason why. Or, 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 maybe Fontaine was very expensive with how crazy good the underwater was, right? They're cutting costs on this patch, like I said earlier, so that they could spend a ton for future patches in Natlin to make those patches like double the amount of content. You know? At least tell us then, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. I, uh, I'm with you there. I am with you there. <clears throat> Bro forgot 3.7? I didn't. You might have. You want to see the trailer together? We can watch it together. Let's see. We had one of the most diverse story events in the game by having archons from multiple regions and one of some of the biggest figures in every region join for a story quest i don't know if you remember that sino appeared raiden appeared yaimiko appeared hutao appeared literally a tcg event yeah but it's a story event that fleshes out the characters with important characters this event right now for the current patch is Chiori, Kirara, and Monsatters. That's that's it. Congratulations. The TCG patch had more character diversity and more character flesh out and development than this one. Like Kazuha appeared. Yaimiko appeared. Kokomi appeared. We had finally interactions between Kokomi and Yaimiko, the thing that everyone has been asking for. References to the Inuzuman War. Jokes with Sino and Ido. You know? Kirara appears in this event, the way that Kirara appears in the new event, except we're missing all the other characters. Like, dude. It literally teased Fontaine on top of all this, you know? 
Let's talk when the 4.5 event actually happens. Hey, by all means, maybe they drop a huge Albedo lore bomb. We gotta remember Albedo's in Mondstadt, right? You're gonna tell me the 4.5 trailer was better than the 3.7 trailer, though? Come on, man. Come on. Like, Murder Birds made a good point that them putting an in game comprehensive guide means Hoyo wants to elevate even casual players' account strength to prepare them for future content. Oh, yeah, no, 100%. I think that's a great point. I think that's a fantastic point. Could be. Could be, could be, could be. Hopefully, they do that. Hopefully. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. The worst part is I hope I'm wrong, but you could literally take any other character and replace the ones we got for this patch, and it doesn't feel like the story would change. What? I don't agree with that take. What, what? What? Bro, you throw Fiorina in there, and you get two Archons interacting. You throw Aido in there, you get Aido Chiori explanation as to why they have a history together. You throw, like, like there's, there, there's so many additions they could have done. Wow. So, this is Sumeru? Oh, and we got the Yomiya story quest on top of that. We had the build domain event in this one? No way. And we and and we had Feast of Departed Warriors. Yeah, sorry, Donut. It's not even close, bro. It's not even close. I'm sorry, man. 3.7 smoked this patch. 4.5. We had Divine Ingenuity. And we had Feast of the Departed Warriors on top of that. I'm sorry, dude. Now we have a furniture event and a cat event and like a store management event. Like it's it's just, you know, that's not it, brother. That's not it. And we had a con bro. And we had this on top of Feast of the Departed Warriors. And Domain Maker. That's crazy. That's wild. I don't. Four point five is a dead patch, hundred percent. I'm still gonna play it. I'm looking forward to it. Chiori, dude. Chiori and Chiori story quest. I am there, one hundred percent. And it lets me catch up. It, it, it actually helps me out more than hurts me. <clears throat> wild. Domain event was so successful, the devs released a post on trying to find the right systems to make it permanent one day. I saw that. I hope they do it. Like, you know the website they had for it? Bro, I, I hope that gets approved. I hope that gets approved, bro. Like, you could, it, that thing made it so that you could do like minigame style or combat style. I mean, I do agree if 4.5 is filler, but I don't agree with your stance on communication. I mean, that's fine. Sure, we can have different takes on that. You agree 4.5 is a weaker patch than this one, though, right? Because what event is beating out Divine Ingenuity, Feast of the Departed Warriors, on top of the picture combat event that this event has versus 4.5 having a, a cat event, a furniture event, and a store manager event, and basically phase trials monstat. That's my that's my that's my core point is that this patch was the weakest patch. Excuse me? Or do you two have some breaking news to share with me? Wow. Did Zach and the others not sound as enthusiastic? Nah, they they were, they were fantastic. Are you kidding me? English voice actors carried that. I, I I might be a hot take. I really love seeing the English voice actors uh interact on those streams. It makes it not as corporate. It makes it more, you know, sometimes it gets a little too professional, but for the most part, like, it adds a, it breathes a lot of life into the streams. <laughs> if Chiori looks at us, steps on us, pushes us against the wall, <laughs> it becomes weak. Bro, honestly, that's the reason why. They were focusing on really nailing that experience, okay? Oh, man. Tournament? The tournament has already finished. 
Yes, please. I agree. Oh my lord. That would save the patch. Okay, chat. Alright. We'll float y'all's boat. We'll float y'all's boat. We'll float y'all's boat. I remember my favorite domain back then. It had everything. Tower defense to puzzles to mazes and ended off with the simulated universe roguelike combat. It was so much fun. Dude, I want them to bring back that event. I didn't get to fully experience it because I didn't think it was going to be as uh, expansive as it was. And the last day I got to play it, but bro, oh, I was over the moon that last day, you know? Have you ever had a patch even close to the dryness of this one? I don't think so. I, I could be wrong, but I've looked up 3.7, 3.5, 2.5, 2.6, 3.6. We even looked at 1.5, 1.6. All of them were better patches, whether it was through the events or the fact that there was more story. Would easily double the patch revenue. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. And we getting better, we getting better camera and model movement in recent patches too, so. Uh, you think 4.5 was weaker than the TCG event? 100%, 100%. In the 4.5 TCG event, the story for that had, I've said this like three times, but it had Archons appear like Raiden, Yaimiko, Aido. We had people from Sumeru come in, right? Sino, the General Mahamatra, right? Uh, Ido appears, like, Hu Tao is there, it's, Kazuha is there, I think Xiao makes an appearance, like, who, who do we have for this patch? Chiori and Kirara, and then everyone else are just monsters. Xiao Nation! Yeah, we had people from all five nations, you know, versus this one, we just have Chiori, and, you know. And again, for the TCG event, because we just looked at it, right? This was the TCG event. The events were better. We had Feast of the Departed Warriors and we had Divine Ingenuity. Divine Ingenuity and Feast of the Departed Warriors on top of another combat event. Like, even the content itself was more content-dense than 4.5. 4.5, we have Cat Event, Furniture Management, and uh, Alchemy Store Management. And then something that's similar to Phase Trials Hypothesis. Just saying, I was hoping 4.5 would be an Itadori Festival Part 2. Same. I, Itadori Festival is one of my favorite filler events by far. By far, by far. Bless you. Yeah, I agree, Wagner. 100%. Yeah, Chiori's quest, I hope, is peak. Same, dude. Yo, and imagine they have, like, some, like, I don't know, some secret, she's got, like, secret dirt on Ayato that nobody knows about. Oh, bro, that would be, that would be peak. Oh, chat says bless you, by the way. Thanks. He says thanks. <laughs> that would be, dude, that would be cool as heck, man. What about 3.6? Ooh, you don't want to look at 3.6. Trust me. You don't want to look at 3.6. We had the tournament arc. Way better. We had a pep. An arc on quest. Or not an arc on quest. Sorry. Arc on story quest. Not an arc on... Or arc on character quest. There we go. A character quest of an arc on. That's less confusing. We had a pep. We had the tournament arc with the crazy CGI. We had Baiju story quest on top of that. Like, way better, dude. 3.6 was so good. So good. Brewing developments was actually fun. Like, I actually enjoyed that. It wasn't like crazy, but it was actually pretty cool. And new region. And new region on top of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. This region. Dude. Yeah, man. You know? <clears throat> Peak World Quest. Yeah, man. It, it, it was good. It was good. But copium. Copium, copium. Right? Albedo's in Mondstadt. It's an alchemy quest. Boom. 
at the end of the story quest. Orion daughter slash golds lore bomb. You know what I mean? And it it and it changes the landscape of Mondstadt, which is why we don't have a new region. The same way the wolves appeared after that one patch, you know? And that's the foreshadowing into Dane Slave Quest next patch. That, that would be sick. That would make all the sense in the world. And they're looking to like, you know, flashbang the entire internet. Do you know why we don't have Menti's uh, second story quest? Uh, because of the Wolf of the North? Nah, because that dude's hiding all the secrets, man. That's why. That's why, that's why. Last Windbloom had uh, Hex and Zirkle lore, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Since you have time to catch up, any idea of when Hawkeye Impactors playthrough will come out on YouTube? The VOD is no longer up. I do not know, but hopefully soon. Salutes. Hopefully soon, hopefully soon. I, I, it might be down, if I'm not mistaken. It might be. It's because the statue says Gate to Celestia on the bottom. Yeah, dude. I think we, uh, I think, I think everyone's on the same page that we all come back to Monset at the end. Yeah, it's down now. Yeah. Highly, highly biased, but like genuinely now that we're Twitch partner, we get guaranteed VODs for like 60 days. Highly recommend y'all follow Twitch so y'all can see the VODs there. Um, if you're impatient about it not being up on YouTube. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. Especially because we're going on a Honkai Impact third story binge um, here to participate in the Twitch uh, Honkai event that they're happen they're they are having. Isn't it for ninety days? It's like sixty to ninety days. I always like to say sixties just so people don't overly play it safe because you never know. Not to forget the subathon catch uh, continue soon. Yes, that too. That too. That too. Yeah, we're doing a ton of content. We have a subathon with like 38 hours to continue once we're back. Um, lots of weathering waves, lots of HI3 story catch up, um, alpha PGR, um, new reverse patch, like Sparkle, Star Rail. Oh my god, he's actually gonna catch up. Who is this guy? It's almost like we catch up in all games that we do. We're just never caught up. Like. You know, it's nothing new. It's nothing new. It's nothing new. We're just never caught up because we play a lot of games. What was that? Oh, it's fine. Phone fell on the desk. Who? <laughs> just <laughs> Oh, man. No, I can't see you. Come back. Who are you? You are Sparkle. Why are you in the walls? This is all secretly a plot by Sparkle. This is all secretly a plot by Sparkle, fam. What do you plan to do, Captainverse? I do not know. Guys, do you know why I can't give you times or days anymore? Have you noticed that I stopped doing that like six months ago on all content? I just say coming soon and it drives you all insane. I've mentioned this before, but I know a lot of you guys don't know. I, I try to say this on every important dev stream because I know a lot of us come in for these. Like, do you know why? Because of surprise marketing from companies. Yes, exactly. Since I don't know the schedules of any of these companies, we keep getting surprise announcements by all these companies like randomly. And it completely changes like what we were planning and doing. Genshin will have a surprise like anime trailer that drops or a surprise cinematic cutscene that drops star Rail announces like panicani a week early um arc knights enfield randomly comes back out of the blue after being quiet for two years and then boom beta drop uh weathering waves randomly boom beta drop so because of that i, I can no longer give a day or a time because i legit don't know anymore i, I cannot plan things all I can do, all I've been doing is I have a priority list 
And on that list is a ton of content that I plan, but it has no dates and time, just what's next. And then big announcement can happen. And sometimes that announcement comes in and either like knocks some things down, goes to the bottom or goes to the top, depending on like where that is. It's easier to plan if we cover permanent games, but live updates are really hard. Yeah, if we only cover like AAA games that like where the whole game is already out, it would be a lot easier because we, we know what to expect then, right? Best way to stay up to date, 100%. The best way to stay up to date, follow Twitter, follow Disc uh, join the Discord. If you don't want to do either of those, you go to... Oh, watch the screen, watch the screen. Go to the channel, community. I type all big announcements here. Ton of posts. All big announcements. Try to keep you on the loop as much as possible. This is a great way, like, if you don't you don't want to, uh, you know, deal with, which I understand, the Twitter people, or you enjoy your current Discord servers, which I totally get. That's that's some of the best, that's the, probably the best way that you can stay in touch with that. Any thoughts on when the Genshin anime news might come out? I'm expecting us to get more news on it uh, beginning of 2025. It's with UFO Table. They usually have a very long development cycle for their animes and movies. Um, like with the Fate series, it took them anywhere between like two to five years. And that's like just from their announcement. We don't know if they were working on it beforehand uh, to actually make those movies, right? So um, with Genshin, I'm expecting something very similar. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm expecting something very, very similar. It takes a while to get big budget animes like that out. So I don't think we're going to get any news until beginning 2025. That's my take. Juggling a lot of live service games can be kind of tough, especially when they all drop content in the same day as week. Yes, dude. The 29th of February was Doomsday. We had Zenitina. We got Sparkle. We got Alpha. We got Reverse Release. Like, dude. So many. So many, so many, so many. Yeah, we don't... I, I say let them cook with the anime. I'm, I'm okay with them taking their time, as long as it's crazy good when it comes out. Yup, same. Same, 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 same. Jam Jam and hey, get some good rest. Rest up. Peace out. Adios. Sayonara. Hold on. Where is... I want to see... Listen, listen, listen. I wanted to roll for set Adida. Bro, I have literally already logged into part two, right? On like, like downloaded the update. And it's like, I'm looking at the banner. It's like, bro, I want to roll. I, I want to roll, dude. Look at this. Do you know the amount of... One, this proves how much I like you guys. All right, just so we're clear. Because if I didn't like you guys, I would have pulled on all these characters, all right? Do you know how much mental discipline I need to do this? Do do like... Bro. J just read the text. You don't even got to see all the images. L like... Do you know how hard it is to log in to all four of these games to do the dailies and not roll on the banners? To make sure that I can do this on stream? That's crazy, dude. It's, it's... Ooh. Sometimes it's like, you know what? Maybe I'm just going to do it real fast. They'll understand. Sure willpower, bro. Bro. It's the only bad thing about being a streamer is you got to wait until you can stream the content if you're ever out. Stand proud, boss. You are strong. <laughs> oh, the island over here. Can I say it? That you rolled? I, like, even Island rolled on reverse already. Off camera. Like, he already rolled on reverse. I'm over here, like, dying. Like, not, not participating on it. You know what I mean? Waiting for you guys so we can do it together. All right? Lamau, can I say that you rolled? Well, like, the game specifically. You know? I just, I just, you know... You know what I mean?
Island doing his uh, stream right there? No, 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 no. He's uh, editing a video while he hears me uh, yap in the background, which is probably insanely distracting. <laughs> insanely distracting. <laughs> probably, he's probably like, stop calling me. Shut up, dude. Just talk to your stream. I'm trying to finish this video. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I get excited that he's in the room and then I forget that he's working. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Dude, okay, wait, wait real quick, real quick, real quick. I... Can I say this? Hold on, I'm thinking if I can say this. I can say this. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can say this. I can say that. Dude, the event at Santa Monica Pier looks so cool. It looks so freaking cool. Like, like, no cap, I actually think this might be one of their coolest looking events for Honkai Impact. Straight up. It, it just looks really well set up. Like, more more to, to do. It's not like a crazy hype event. It's just like the way that it's made looks so sick. Like, like it, it's going to be some really cool footage and, and cool pictures. It looks really dope. This is like for the global side of things, right? I think this is one of global events best constructed events if that makes sense oh can i not work tomorrow and go i'm sorry Arissa. i apologize hey boss you adopted another sandy this year i may or may not was originally planning to do so and island may or may not was originally planning to do so but we went to see and i didn't see any standees we were kind of peeking around you know we were like I mean, we, we didn't see any standees, so. <laughs> damn, I know. I said the same thing. I was like, damn it. Definitely wasn't looking for a Senadina or a Song Chue or Helia. So, you know, Sandy, that's not, that's not what we were looking for. Um, you know? <clears throat> they knew, bro. Y you know what they do have is they do have the characters in another format. You don't, you don't think it's because... We, we did that last year, right? No. Right? Now that I think about it, y you don't think it's be- Because <laughs> you can still see the characters, right? But, but they're not standees that you can take. They're like, they're like, I don't want to spoil it, but yeah. Oh man, they're on to us, dude. They're on to us. Look, look. I'm gonna be real with you. Very excited for part two. Very excited for part two, dude. Very excited. I cannot wait. I cannot wait, dude. Stay strong, boss. Just a few more days, bro. I was My brain was like, maybe you just go for a copy. And then you just do a second copy when you get back. And it's like you still roll together, you know? And it's like, no, I can't do that. That's not, that's not, no. That's that's half the experience then. I can't do that. <clears throat> My brain was trying to come up with like BS excuses to justify it. Eye tracker when? Uh, eye tracker, what eye tracker, huh? Hmm? 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 Nani. Brother, just a reminder, haircut when? There's a reason why I haven't gotten a haircut. There's, there, there's, hold on, let me get the image. Believe me, I would love to get a haircut. I would love to get a haircut. I would love to get a haircut. Believe me. 
This is the longest I've ever had my hair. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Recent. Where, where? Bro, what? Okay, hold on. I'll do this instead. Instead of adding the image, because MacBook is kind of dumb. Uh, th this is why. Open image, a new tab. I hate how close it is. Oh man, that that's why. That's that's why. I I gotta. There's a reason why. Until it's done. Until it's done, I can't cut my hair. So once it's done, which we'll try to do it as soon as possible. Once I'm back from LA, um, I'll be able to finally cut my hair. Finally, you can thank the reverse devs. They sent something over. Is all I'm gonna say. Yeah, that's that's. Uh, <clears throat> Yudi, when did you take this picture? <laughs> listen, listen. Oh man, just tie a ponytail and it'll, it'll be fine, dude. I need like, I was I was walking outside. It's windy. My hair was like <laughs> trying to kill me, dude. Poked my eyeballs out. I almost felt like five times walking, walking, dude. Need hair clips or something. Honestly, who is the real Yudi, right? right? Oh, the new profile picture you need? No, 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 no. It's not what we're doing. Not what we're doing, not what we're doing. Well, guys, we'll continue the uh, uncapped subathon on Twitch, March 6th, uh, Central Standard Time. I will. Oh, HG3 is giving us 2008. Um, that's awesome. Um, and they made the gotcha better. That's crazy. Um,. We'll continue the subathon, March 6th, Central Standard Time. I'll see y'all soon. I'm going to end the stream there. That way, he doesn't have to deal with my yapping. <laughs> we'll see y'all soon. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> Till next time. Peace. Adios. How do I end the stream? That's not starting soon. We're ending. Listen. Hold on. <laughs>